In today's video, we're going to be making this sound. What is going on Rocket Pirate Sound Designers? I hope that you're all having a fantastic day, but can we just take a moment to take a look at last video? Um, what is good with the likes and dislikes? Dude, I don't know what is wrong with the video. I understand that my drop came out ass, but that was a fucking 10 minute challenge. I don't know what you expected. Uh, but I guess I'm just gonna cool it with those because apparently you guys don't really like them. It was just a challenge. It was just for fun, for entertainment. So I think I'm just gonna cool it with that kind of videos for now. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into the sound. It is super ultra mega thick and I already know you're gonna love it. So first things first, we're gonna start off running basic shapes between two sawtooth waveforms running basic shapes, frequency modulation, I mean, of course, how can I go wrong? Uh, but anyways, uh, we're gonna start off with our uh, sawtooth waveform, which is found in the basic shapes wavetable. And here, we're just gonna start off with our FM from B. Now, oscillator B, of course, we're gonna have to turn on basic shapes again to get our second sawtooth waveform. And then we're just gonna turn the FM to around like halfway, somewhere around that. We can always go back and adjust it. And now things are gonna start to get interesting, okay? Let's drop the level of oscillator B down to zero and turn up the octave up two. So that plus two pitch differential gives us a perfect harmonic sound. Perfect, that's what we're going for. Just turn on uh, mono and legato for the voicing, not a big deal here. Now anyways, guys, uh, I'm changing up the style of videos. They're not gonna be daily uploads anymore in case you guys haven't realized because now I'm gonna start editing the videos and making them actually entertaining so you guys will stick around to the end and actually learn something, damn it. <laughs> I'm kidding, but seriously, I'm, I'm making the videos better. Anyways, guys, uh, let's go ahead and drop the level down to zero. And we're gonna start our first modulation here. We're gonna go on to LFO one here. Put this on envelope and leave this on one fourth for the rate. And that is gonna be the start of a sound. That way we don't have one static sound. It, it just jumps right into it, sounds perfect. Um, and now we're actually going to be turning on sync. Turn up the sync to around like 2.16, somewhere around here. And now we're gonna modulate this up. And that sounds like a pretty nice tone for me. Like I said, we can always go back and change up the tone if need be. But for now, that's gonna get the job done. Now the filter, this is when things get fun. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our ring mod filter. Where are you at? It's in the miscellaneous section. Ring mod right here. Oops. All righty. So. Okay, sounds really interesting, but this is really gonna be giving it that fat, thick tone of the sound. So go ahead and turn on our uh, pitch tracking here. That way, whatever note that we're playing on our keyboard, the cutoff will move with that note. So it maintains a constant, similar tone. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn up the cutoff. Around here, and we're gonna drop this down with the LFO number one. Resonance makes zero difference, so it doesn't matter where that's at. And we're gonna call it a day for the oscillator section. Like I said, guys, we can always go back and tweak this to make it sound better. Some things may need to be tweaked a little bit, but that's no problem. All right, so now we're gonna jump into the matrix section, and all we're gonna be doing here is making LFO 2. This is going to be our pitch LFO, and it's basically gonna be shaping the way the sound moves, or the, uh, not the sound, the pitch, the master tune. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on, oops, LFO2 into our source, and we're gonna grab on uh, master tune for the destination. So LFO2 will be controlling master tune. Go ahead and make this go up. Up three, maybe, that sounds pretty good. Oh, and we're gonna wanna turn off 
uh, back and forth. We just want it to be going positive, just zero, two, four. Oh no, we want it even less than that. Maybe three, eh? Or two. All right, so that sounds pretty good for that. Now we need to go to the effects section and actually make this thing pop. So, uh, first effect on the list is we're gonna be filling in the sound and almost making it sound a little vibrato-ish. And we're gonna be doing that with the flanger. Just go ahead and turn up the rate to 20 hertz, so as fast as possible, and don't touch anything else. Yes, I actually did that and it actually came out pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna turn on the multi-band compressor to even out the frequencies. All righty, that's what I like to see. Okay, and finally, one of the downsides about using the ring mod filter or any ring modulation in this um, is Do you hear that? It gets like a weird talking sound, which sounds pretty gross. So in case you guys get that, we can go ahead and cut out. I put it on 170 hertz, so we can go ahead and cut out, cut out uh, the lower end frequencies that might be getting that read, ring mod effect on it. Perfect. And like I said, we can go ahead and change it up. Oh, I think that sounds better. Oh, there we go. And that is literally how it's done. 25 works there. And then 22, negative 22. All right, so without further ado, guys, if you like this video, make sure you drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and check out more of our serum tutorials if you think that that's cool because our, my serum tutorials are pretty dope. Best channel on YouTube for serum tutorials. So anyways, guys, I'm done rambling. Um, without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocket Powered Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next serum tutorial.